Look who I've got here. It's the Vampire King of Mississippi. Good morning. Dennis How are you? Dennis O'Hare, thank you so much for taking the time to wade through the masses and visit me up here on the top floor. My pleasure. I didn't get any tattoos put on my face. I didn't get any cards stuffed in my pocket. No I fake survived. blood. Oh. No fake blood. Yeah. You look like you're having so much fun on True Blood. Tell me about that just this season and how you've been how you've been enjoying yourself because it you can see it you know each time you get a script you know we kind of leaf through it really quickly to see what was going to happen and I remember one script I got I think it was episode nine I literally dropped it in the floor and I said shut up <laughs> I was like what I get to do in this thing I can't tell you what it is but uh, oh, I do a, I do a lot of mean things to a lot of people um, I have bathed in blood, I have laid in blood, I have drunk blood, I've worn blood, I have licked blood. Um, it's crazy. Have you I mean, ever worked with blood before? Has it ever been in any of you've done so much work? You know what I have. I did a I did a play years ago called What the Butler Saw, a Joe Orton farce. And I was covered in blood head to toe. And oh Joe I, Orton, right. Oh right, my totally. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Orton. I did a play called Pig Farm in New York off Broadway. And in that I ended up being covered in blood and mud and pig. Uh, swill. So you've been preparing uh, so I, yeah, your whole life, my whole to life. Just, yeah. for this role. Yeah. Were you a fan of the show before you got cast? I'm a big fan of True Blood. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, I never thought I would end up being in the universe. And I was in uh, Budapest shooting a movie and I got a call from my agent saying, uh, how would you like to be the vampire king of Mississippi? I was like, okay, <laughs> where? It's, it's so it's so fantastic to watch you and I in so many roles Garden State um, Milk you're fantastic in Thank Milk you. and you have won a Tony Award you're yep. brought you've done a lot of Broadway yep and I wonder now nominate this is shows nominated for an Emmy do you feel like you're gonna go the Rita Morena route just just across all boards do you have a particular uh, I was genre that like, you like enjoy earrings and a skirt and Moroccas a... I was like no I don't think I'm gonna go well, that you route you never know but... though you might um, but I mean just doing all sorts of acting in different genres do you how is TV how, how is that different for you than preparing for that role than for a stage role uh, you know, I've been lucky enough. Different? It is different. I've been lucky enough to work in TV a lot. I worked in film a lot, and I worked in theater a lot. I'm going to do a Broadway show this fall, starting in September. I can't name it yet, but oh. very soon. And uh, I know secret <laughs> secrets. But um, you know, when you do a TV a, 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 a theater show, we have three and a half weeks to rehearse, and you choreograph everything, and then you perform it for eight times a week. Sometimes I've done shows for over a year and a half. It's a very different head. TV, you're cramming it all in your head, you're memorizing it, and then you get to do five takes and it's gone. And you're haunted by the idea that, oh God, I wish I had had a chance to do that better, or I wish I knew what I knew now, I could have gone back and, and fixed that. Dennis, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you're, you're having fun and I'm we really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you thank for having you. me, I appreciate it.